SEO tools are not cheap. Think Ahrefs, think SEMrush. And the reason why it's so expensive is because they mark up the prices as simple as it is. What if you could just pay for what you use? And that's what we're going to be talking about today. Hey, what up, decisive marketers? We are going to be talking about SEO utils, right? So I guess it's a uh, short form for SEO utilities. So SEO utils works with the data for SEO API. So once you put in your API in there, you will be able to use this too, and you only pay for what you use and you can use this tool for clustering keywords you can use it for an analy uh, analytics of traffic sitemap extracting uh, backlinks analytics as well as well as uh, sub similarities right so we're going to dive in and check out how good this tool is but before we do that be sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content right so here we go so here we are in SEO Utils. This is the dashboard. It's quite simple right now. Uh, there is a uh, so firstly there is a clustering tool uh, feature, and this keyword clustering tool uh, you will have to set this up. Um, so firstly, right before you can even use the tool, you want to jump into settings. Okay, put in the language that you want, and then uh, put in your data for SEO uh, APIs. Right, so I have done so right here. You can just click here, follow the steps, and get your API key. Right, and then for the keyword clustering feature, um, let me just kind of show you what it is. Okay, so right here is the um, how to set this up. Right, so um, it's it's actually right. I mean, he does tell you how to set this up, but you can just kind of scroll down and choose some of the uh, keyword clustering models that uh, he recommends. Uh, I mean, the founder uh, recommends, which is uh you know one of these just download it from the google drive link right here and then you'll be able to use it okay um in detail like what they do i don't actually uh, know you probably have to click in and uh, understand what uh, these sentence transformers actually do like how different are they so for me i just kind of downloaded this one right here to use right so so what you do with the key, uh, clustering keyword function is really simple, of course. Just you know, uh, put in all the keywords in there, and then it will cluster them for you, uh, and export it as a CSV file, which I have it um, right here. Right, so um, so I just use a very simple uh, keyword uh, tool, and what this one does is just to kind of put all the um the cluster will be under this cluster and then it kind of uh, puts them together right so this is uh, the keyword clustering uh feature okay so next we have traffic analytics so let's try um maybe my website which isn't very huge right now but let's kind of see what information we get right so it says that uh i get about 200 and you know 80 290 uh organic traffic i have 149 organic keywords indexed uh the <coughs> other traffic if it's able to find out and then the traffic cost okay uh and then right so this is the information and then the keyword ranking data right here so we can see like which ones are uh, in the top five and we we can click on organic keywords which will tell me like the keywords and the search volumes Okay, and it's also also going to tell you the intent, right? Is it a navigational intent or is it a commercial intent? Which means that is a buying, per, uh, f um, 
so so that means they they could be wanting to buy something and then there is also a transactional that means they are looking to purchase something okay and you can see like the search volume how it's moving right here okay and then you can check out the competitors uh, right here which isn't that much i guess and then it's uh it's able to also assess like what are my top pages um so this one my maga review article is the most popular one and then we have auto blogging uh, and then we have loop cv we have uh, one on instant messaging so we can kind of see like which one you know brings in like the most traffic uh, and the cost and so on okay so next is we have uh, sitemap extractor so i guess i'm not going to demo this one but of course uh, this is a very useful feature you can um, i use this with uh, hexomatic but you know you can just go to like any website so for example i just put in my website right here and then sitemap.xml and then click on extract it's then you know gonna give me the like all the uh, all the data i mean all the urls okay so because my uh, um site map kind of opens up to multiple ones so let's say i grab this one here right just kind of paste it in here and extract again and then it's going to extract the url okay maybe this one doesn't have any data let's use a uh, post okay no url so i mean maybe my site kind of blocks the extractor um but i, I i'm not gonna sort of demo this too anyway it's uh it's just simply extracting all the urls anyway it's not uh, very complicated uh so the next one is the backlink analytics so this is i guess something that a lot of people will be really interested in which is um so if you click on search it's going to pull in the backlinks and the referring domains so i have 213 referring domains 41 of them are no follows and i have 213 uh, referring ips okay i've got low spam score uh, and okay so i can see like referring domains and <coughs> referring main domains and i can look at the backlinks and all that so we can take a look like the referring domains okay <coughs> so these are the sites that are that are linking to me okay okay there are some like broken links which we can kind of check out later okay and then we can look at some of the anchor keywords uh, and back backlinks as well <coughs> So we can look at some of the backlinks right here. <coughs> okay. 
So it looks like the site is uh, gone. So it's being redirected somewhere else now. Let's look at this one. So I mean, some of the links are like sort of broken and all that. All the links have disappeared. Okay, so uh, so this is the backlinks that we can you know take a look at all the sites, and then we can look at uh, like competitors, and basically it seems like I share this number of backlinks with them, right? And then there are also some uh, other sites that have similar backlinks. Lastly is a sub similarity. So let's let's try this. I'm not really sure what what sub similarity does, but let's put in a keyword and check it out. Okay, and there we go. Right, so we can see right here is that uh, you know these are the similar URLs. Um <coughs> let's try this. Okay, so so what happens is I guess you can kind of put in some keywords and look at some of the similarities within these keywords. So you can kind of know who are your competitors, I guess. Uh, you know, or put in multiple keywords and see, you know, who are the top. I, I'm not really sure how this works actually. So either way, uh, that's all I have to share about SEO utils. Um, I think ultimately, as almost with with uh, every SEO tools, right? The the traffic analysis is what we want. The backlink analysis is what we want. So it does have the most important features right now. And importantly also, there is a keyword clustering uh, feature in here, which is also very useful. Um, I would say the, you know, segment extractor is useful. Um, but not to I would I wouldn't say that it's as important as the traffic analytics and backlink analytics, uh, and the keyword clustering feature. Uh, whereas the sub similarity, I'm not really sure what that is for. Okay, but either way, I would say that uh, for a really um, affordable tool that you only pay for what you use, this is insanely. Um, you know, this is insanely, you know, affordable, right? So I think that anyone can, uh, who don't really need so much, uh, like who needs to use it very often, <coughs> like if you don't need to use an SU2 very often and you're paying like for a month and you don't, you don't even use up all the limits at all, then I don't think it is worth for you to pay for such a tool, right? Just pay for what you use with SEO utils. And next is if you are a hardcore user, right? So um, if you are paying a lot of money, you're paying for the expensive plan uh, and you're looking to cut some costs in there, then you can try out SEO utils. Maybe you're running an agency and uh, these this uh, monthly subscription causes are very high for you then you can consider using SEO utils um, I would say that this too will be much suited for this group of people uh, but of course um, uh, either way anyone who's looking to cut costs on SEO tools uh, definitely can consider SEO utils uh, the only downside is that this is a desktop tool so you will need to use it uh, you know on your PC you can't uh, use it on the cloud right so you got to install it in your computer so pretty much i guess that is all i have to share about seo utils i think that 
uh, ultimately it has the most important features and of course the developer has said that there will be more features coming to SEO Utils um, so I think that this you know you just pay a one-time fee uh, to you know get the the get to use the software right and then you just uh, pay for the API for whatever that you use pretty much that's why it is so so the cost is a lot more affordable so i guess that's all i have to share about seo utils if you enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up let me know what you think about seo utils in the comments below lastly if you know anyone could benefit from this too be sure to share this video with them i'll see you in my next video Bye bye